College is expensive, super expensive, and many families have felt the pinch of rising tuition costs. One new study from U.S. News and World Report shows in-state tuition and fees at public universities skyrocketed 211 percent over the last 20 years. This as the Department of Education announces it's canceling more than $11.5 billion in student loans. Joining me now is personal finance expert, best-selling author, Dave Ramsey. Dave, I get it. Oh, the federal government's going to cancel my debt so I can just, me and my family, we could just take on oodles of debt so I can go to college and it'll get washed away, right? Yeah, right. So the $11.5 billion was normal course of business. If you become disabled, uh, you have always gotten your student loans canceled. And that's a cancellation program that's always been there and has always worked. Uh, the other thing is if you got defrauded by a school that went out of business, you get that student loan canceled. That's always been there and it's always worked. The cancellation that they're all bragging about that doesn't work is the public service student loan forgiveness. And 98% mm -hmm. uh, of the people that apply for that so far have not gotten forgiveness, wow. only 2%. That's known as a scam. It is, Victoria, jump in. Yeah, you know, look, I am right in the middle of this conversation because I have a child that just graduated from University of Texas. I have a freshman at NYU. So if there's a place I can go sign up for loan forgiveness, tell me and I will be the first in line. I just don't see this happening. But I think what's important, too, is that we need to look at what the um, future of a four-year traditional college looks like. After the last year and a half and the changes yep. that we've seen in the way people work, I'm not so sure that that traditional college experience is what people are actually going to do going forward. I've never seen so many online college commercials um, as I have in the last six months or so. So I don't know if that's going to shift the way people approach college, but the cost is tremendous and people need to start saving right. early. And I'm sure Dave has some um, suggestions on how they can do that. Well, and Dave, I always, and I'm not, when I say this, I've said this on air before, and I'm not joking. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't go to a four-year school. I would probably be a plumber today. It's a, you're your <laughs> own, you know what, it's a great trade. You're your own boss. There is always work. And you can yep. kind of work when you want to, but that's part of your advice. Well, my friend Mike Rowe agrees. We both know that the trades have been overlooked because America put its nose in the air and snubbed anyone who didn't get a four-year degree for the last five generations. Uh, and it became a thing that if you didn't go to college, you weren't going to be successful. And then under the heading of that, we kind of went crazy and said, anything you study at any price at any college uh, and you will become successful. So you can get a degree for 225,000 in left-handed puppetry and you will automatically be a broke barista. And I've, I've met people like that who are angry at the government that they have debt. I'm like, well, did you, you paid a quarter of a uh, million dollars for a degree that doesn't give you any marketable skill and you're mad at not yourself? Uh, well, the, the problem is we got a, we got 18 year olds making adult decisions. You don't sign an 18 year old up for a $300,000 mortgage. You don't sign a 17 year old up for that without some guidance. And mom and dad are standing back and going, "Oh, they're adults. Let them do whatever." The high right. school counselor is going, "Well, pay for college, whatever. However you got to do it, go do it." And, and then we say, "Well, go to a famous school instead of an affordable school." And so let's double down on right. how stupid we're going to be here. People mock me online because I got a degree in art history, but my college, Wake Forest. At the time was $7,500 a year. And I was lucky, yeah. my family, my grandparents and my parents paid for it, but my father also put his boot on my butt when I graduated and said, you're not getting it coming in the house. Here's $20, don't call me if you get married. You're on your own, I am a nobody, I can't get you a job anywhere. So that's where I was. I got a degree, a cheap one, but I had to go out there and hustle. Dave, you have a new documentary out, it's called Borrowed Future, can you tell us about it? It is, um, it's going to stir up a holy ruckus, Dagan. Uh, there's going to be some people really upset with this when they watch it because we're going to expose what the government has done here. Uh, we're going to expose what higher education has done here. And it has been a, a culture-wide 
con and it's out of control and the, the victims are 18 year olds in this and it's it's sad I talk to them every day uh, they're delaying having kids they're delaying getting married they're delaying buying houses because they're swamped and covered up and overwhelmed with this debt that they signed up and did what everybody told them to do get an education at any cost and it doesn't even matter what you study or where you go to school and so uh, borrowed future will scare you straight uh, you got a 17 year old you got a 13 year old uh, you anywhere in your life uh, you need to watch this documentary it will rock your world uh, that you should go to a four-year school cost doesn't matter is the biggest lie sold to kids across this country for generations it is it is, and I, I would say go get a four-year degree if you're going to study business or yep. marketing or communications or something. Right. Uh, education is important, but overpaying for education, it's an irony of ironies that in America we're stupid yep. about education. Thank you, Dave. I, I mean, that's just, that's ridiculous. So you can watch this on Google Play, you can watch oh, it on Amazon awesome. Prime, Apple TV, anywhere you want to see it. We want you to come see it. Thank you, Dave. Great to see you. Dave Ramsey. We'll be right back.